Good afternoon, Barcelona fans, and welcome here to Istanbul for Game 3 of the Barcelona Champions League players between our hosts, Batshe Kolegi, and the visitors from Belgium, from the Flounders country, Filou Ostend. Well, this is the final countdown, the showdown between these two teams. Filou Ostend coming here on the road, winning in Game 1, and Batshe Kolegi fighting for their lives in Game 2, of course, on the road in the beautiful coastal northern city of the Flounders in Ostenda. But it's all going to be decided here tonight in one of the most vibrant cities in all of European basketball, Istanbul in Turkey. Well, last season's champions of the FIBA Europe Cup making the step up this season here to the Basel Champions League. And, you know, it's been a very good test of them this season for Batshe Koleji. Well, Ritas Vilnius will be taking on the mighty Pauk of Thessaloniki, the Greek Giants. That is our second Game 3 here tonight. Two more Game 3s going on tomorrow, but at the moment, Batshe Koleji fighting for their lives, trying to show everybody that they remain here while Falua Stend, a team that's been consistently here in the Boston Champions League, but really need to make a name for themselves. Need to get to the round of 16. And they're going to have to do it in front of this passionate Turkish fan base of Batshe Koleji. Well, we're going to take a look at some of the key players in both these two teams, but one player you don't want to miss out for for Falua Stend is the Belgium Larry Bird, Vrenz Blackenberg. Well, one of the up-and-coming rising stars of international hoops did feature for the Belgian national team this summer at the FIBA Eurobasket in Tbilisi, Georgia, before being knocked out in Berlin. Well, Falua Stan, of course, the philosophy of this team under Dario Judge has been developing young Belgian talent while also surrounding themselves with good American players. Well, some of the key players you want to look out for for the Belgian national team, Pierre-Antoine Gillet, another player, as long with Harris Bratanovic, while Trishan Thurman, their key player, will probably be the go-to player here tonight, along with Brian Tyree as well. But, you know, head coach Dario Giorgia, it's been season after season, good competition here from Falua Stent. Well, there is Mohamed Bayoul, actually was in the very first season of the Basketball Champions League with rivals Pinar Koshiaka. They recently lost their last game of game two against Mukab Murcia. Well, the key players to look out for is Jari Boutsiel, the French international. Jamar Smith, they're also top scorer. Both players averaging just over 14 points per game. Well, Yid Arslan, along Mohamed Bayoul, some of the Turkish players you want to look out for, along with Kartal Oz Mizrak. Well, as we mentioned, last season's defending champions of the FIBA Europe Cup. Had a good team last year with players such as Sam Decker in the lineup who then went on to play in the British Basketball League. But, you know, this is still a very good Batshe Koleji team. And they're one step away from being the second Turkish team to make it to the round of 16. Obviously, Pinar Kosciaka falling out in game two against Ukem Murthia. But Galatasaray finishing top of the group this season. Well, they've got the likes of Tyrese McGee in their lineup along with Dylan Ellis. But Batshe Koleji, they are the team that want to be the second Turkish team in the round of 16. While well, Falua only being the one Belgian team here in the Basel Champions League, they've been here every season, of course, and they've been respectful competitors in this competition. Season after season, dominating the domestic league. Of course, the BTNX League has just been developed, combining both the Dutch and Belgium League, of course. But, you know, since Darrow George's arrival, in Belgium back in 2010. He has simply transformed this club, defeating the likes of the Antwerp, Antwerp Giants, not to mention Spiru Shalawa. I'll stand are the greatest from Belgium, the best team, their head coach, national team coach. There he is, Renz Blackenberg, the Belgian Larry Bird, I like to call him. Well, Harris Brutanovic had some good games in the FIBA Eurobasket this summer, along with Pierre Antoine Gillet. Now, Gillet has played in a basketball Champions League final when he played for Lenovo Tenerife in 2019. It's going to be a big, big game here tonight for these players. They've got to make sure they come big here on the road. They had the chance to seal the deal at home, but it was just too much to ask for. This is a team that's trying to make waves here, of course, we mentioned last season, the best in the FIBA Europe Cup. But can they replicate that success here in the Basketball Champions League? Well, that is the big question, of course. 
All you need in life is one shot. They went on the road. They gave themselves the opportunity to stay alive. And now they've got to perform. A relatively young group, of course. Young team, that is. Owned by Bow Global, an education system within Turkey. Created in 2017. Sharing the Ulkur Sports Arena. Well, their head coach, Erhan Erhan Erdanak, excuse me. Yeah, as you mentioned, some key players in the club, Jamar Smith, James Diaz, Jakob Lazic, the Slovenian international. But the key thing to look out for is that man there, Jari Mutziel. Probably one of the best picks you'll find here in the basketball champion, but Erhan Erdanak knows that he needs leadership from Mohamed Beyoun, from Yid Arslan. He needs to make sure that his players come out with a big victory here tonight at home. Well, Yit Arslan, a lot of experience here in the basketball champs. He had a good run last season with Paco Cruz and Tomasav Zubcic Zuba when he was playing for a Tofash bus. He just came short of qualifying for the Final Four. And now bring that experience here too. And there he is, Yit Arslan. He was quite a prime time player. Savash as well, the veteran player. Well, we're going to take a look at the start of the lives of these two teams, as well as introduce our officials for tonight's game. We're very proud to say we have some of the finest officials here in World Basketball. And here in the Basketball Champions League, we got three of the very best. Well, we've done an excellent job in all of our competitions, and there they are. They'll continue to do so here tonight. Antonio Conde, Luis Castillo, and Wojciech Liszka coming from Poland and Espana. And again, we thank the hard work and loyalty of all of our referees. Tonight's a big one. Game three for the Basketball Champions League play-ins. We're going to take a look at the starting lineups. We'll probably start with Falua Stan, the visiting team, and it's going to be interesting to see how Dario Georgia is going to put a lineup here. Well, Brian Tyree, along with Rans Blehenberg, Alex Barthelo, Harris Butanovic, and Pierre Antoine Gillet will we'll make the side of the lineup. Well, it's going to be a four out one in system with Butanovic down low. Now, Pierre Antoine Gillet is a renowned pick and pop shooter. He likes to stick in the corners. Well, Thurman will be coming off the bench, but again, it just goes to show this season for Lua Stan, definitely a lot of bench that the head coach, Dario Georgia, can work with here tonight. Well, very well respected coach all over international basketball, Dario Georgia. He's done wonders for Falua Sten, but now it's time to bring some trophies home. Well, Kartal Ozmizrak, along with Mohamed Bayoul, the former Pinar Kashiaka player. Top scorers, Jari Boutsiel and Jamar Smith in the lineup. Well, Burke Kandan, Jandan, excuse me, my apologies. My Turkish pronunciation there, Jandan, will also be in the starting lineup. Well, Erhan Ernak, the head coach of this team. Again, we're talking about another very well-experienced basketball coach. He understands what it takes for his players to compete at the very top. But you know, it's more than that, of course. It's more than just trying to make sure your team is going to be able to compete here in the basketball champs. They got to put themselves as contenders. Well, Erhan Ernak was promoted to head coach of Batshe Kolegi in 2019, so again, he knows this club very well. This young Turkish basketball franchise created by Bao Global, one of the top educational systems within the world, of course. And it's good to see education going along with basketball. Okay. And you're going in the dunker, Harris. Okay. Hey, no easy basket from the beginning, okay? Well, when you compare these teams, of course, there's very little to separate them. Both teams, 34% for the perimeter, just over 50% from within side. There is a lot to separate. The rebounds, I mean, you cannot pick a winner in this game. The only thing I could say, Batshe Kolegi, they've got to use the home court advantage. They've got to make sure they use the emotion and energy from these fans here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us. This is the Basel Champs League, the play-ins game three for Lua Standard in town here in Istanbul against Batshe Kolegi. Don't go anywhere as we are set for tip. Well, tempo will be key in this game, of course. These two teams are going to try and get out and transition as much as possible. But for Lua Stand, the kind of team that will try to play a very high-flying, you know, run-and-gun tempo if they can, of course, but also 
a team that needs to make sure the transition defense is able to compete here against a very rejuvenized home team of Bacchisir College. Well, Basel fans, let us know who you're supporting. Are you supporting Bacha Kolegi or are you supporting Falua Stand? We're ready for tip-off. Don't go anywhere. The party is just about to get started. This is game three. Winner will go to the round of 16. Bertanovic will jump now. Abutziel, we're underway. And it will be Bacha Kolegi now. We're trying to get things going early on. Mohamed Bayul now here, top of the key. Looking to throw down to Jari Abutziel. Trying to isolate here against Bertanovic and Butziel. Good defense by Harris. Gets called a double team now and again. Too big, too strong, and just too good from Jari Butziel. Boy, if you think about the good time he had playing with Limo CSP or playing tomorrow night in game three against MRP Huizen Lubitsburg, but he's got to have a big game here tonight. Well, Falua stand now, trying to move the ball effectively. You can see a very static offense. They turn it one-oh, keep it alive here, but. Lionbo's got two seconds left. Goes in with a circus shot. Top of the backboard does he get it? Gets his own reap. No, he doesn't. And now back to Kolegi. Again, they've got to make sure every momentum, every offense, they take care of. They come up with loose balls. Well, Mizrak now turns over. I think he's got now an injury. Hopefully he's okay, but now Fulua Stan can push this one. Goes in, your step. Gets rejected. Well, Jari Boutsiel with the denial, but, well, we got a problem here because Kartal Ozmizrak, I don't know if it's his knee or his ankle, but he's shaking his head there. Let's have a look at the replay. Oh, that looks painful. You can see his knee just goes inside, and hopefully that's not too serious. Well, my wishes go to Kartal Ozmizrak. Hopefully he is going to be okay. Because that looks very painful. Hopefully it's just some swelling. And the medical staff are going to have to get him off the court there because you can see as he made the penetration, there was nothing from the defense, of course. I mean, it was just collision that he made, momentum going sideways, but the knee just looked like a sprain. Now, hopefully, best case scenario, that's just going to be some minor swelling, but well, to all the Basel fans watching, we hope that Kartal Ozmizrak will be okay. There's a home crowd now. Nervously look on here, but they're going to have to make a change pretty soon. Well, he's just one hell of a player, Oz Mizrak. I mean, he's just tough as nails. Kind of play that will give you solid 40 minutes per game. You know, originally from Barkurkoy, Istanbul. Started his professional career with Besiktas, but, you know, he's a fan favorite out here with Batshikoleji. Lua Stan still looking for that first field goal. Tyree now, isolation goes way off the backboard, doesn't get it. Langston Hall, the rebound now. Jamar Smith can try to push it. Batshia now trying to go quick, pick and pop there for the perimeter, doesn't get it. Lua Stan again, searching for answers here, trying to break this defense down. Penetration goes in with a little teardrop. Gets his own rebound, but nobody took care of him. That's going to be out of bounds. Well, Jari Boutsiel doing exactly what he should be doing, being a great rim protector, but Batshi Kolegi, they got to come up with a rebound. That was the shot there. Well, we're on the 10 of the shot clock now. Blackenberg. Contact now goes in again. Kisses that one off the backboard. Well, Vrenz, Blackenberg, as I like to call him, the Belgian Larry Bird. Well, if he gets cooking here tonight, it's going to give Fulua Stan an opportunity to maybe get to the round of 16. On Barcelo now, love, trying to put the pressure. There's a kick out. Bayul with a fit, pump fake. Well, left uncontested, takes it 50 feet, doesn't get it. And Pierre Antoine Gillet secures the rebound. Tyree now looking to run around a few screens, kicking this one to Barcelo. Rotanovic setting every bull screen. Gillet now, catch and shoot for the perimeter, doesn't get it. And Boutsiel with the rebound. Well, both teams just struggling to find the momentum, the rhythm, and just searching for that identity here on the offense. Well, now he'll step back. He'll take a three-point. He will sink that one. 
off the pick and roll with Jerry Boutiel. And that's what Langston, you got to do something about that. You got to run into the screen, but you cannot let him take the wide open three pointers. It's Irene now running around a few screens. He'll try a three. He'll put it up in and out. Doesn't get it. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound for Falua Stent. Now Bayul here for Bacchishia trying to hug the sideline. Coming off a double screen this time again with Jari Boutsiel. Well, Langston Hall now here on the ball. We're under 10 on the shot clock here. Another ball screen finds Boutsiel. Tried to throw the dive, but we got a kick ball there. That's Barcelo. Just got a slight touch to that one. Well, Bertanovic is getting a little bit slower there on the uh, pick and roll defense because you got two players. Got in Langston Hall. You know, Bacchishia Kulej, you're smart. They're going to try and isolate Boutsiel in the low block. Well, here's the mismatch they want. Boutsiel trying to put the post moves. Trying to force his way in. Kicks this one out. They go for another three. Three is up. No good. And they're going to call push in the back foul against Brian Tyree. And I think that's the right call there because when you saw, I think it was Jamar Smith actually. Watch Jamar Smith. Weak side goes for the rebound. Right there. Good call from the official. Because Brian Tyree with his left arm right there. Just a slight push in the back. We'll pick a pop now. Well, that's going to be a long two point. Has to flip the line. Doesn't get it. And we have seen Jari Boutsi occasionally do that. It's Tyree now going for a quick shot in transition. And again, I don't think that's a high percentage look there for Falua Stan. And you can see how infuriated Dario Judge is. Likes it now. Ali. Oh my goodness. Well, Jari Boutsi has come ready to play. Well, forget playtime. Jari Boutsi. I think it's party time here. Well, Pierre-Antoine Gillet is trying to do everything he can on the pick and roll because every time Boutsiel sets that ball screen, he's going straight to the bucket. And Langston Hall, one thing on his mind, just throws it up and says, hey, big fella, go fetch. Well, Boutsiel, a few seasons ago, was playing for... Limoges in the basketball champs. He had three good seasons for them. Prior to that, was playing two years for Cholet. Can start his career as a youth player with Nantes. So again, we're talking about a player really has a respectful CV when playing so many years in the LNB Pro, one of the best professional leagues in the domestic world of basketball. Well, Barthelo now kicking this one out to Blattenberg. Six in the shot clock now. Makes a penetration, lose the ball, turns it over. That's good defense by Mohamed Bayoul. Well, Blattenberg's got to think about a step back jump shot when you've only got a few seconds on the clock. I mean, he's identified the mismatch against Mohamed Bayoul, but he's got to take advantage. Well, Bayoul now trying to run off another screen with Boutsiel. Good help side defense there. Mohamed Bayoul will kiss that one off the backboard. Well, the former Pinar Kashiaka player punishes for Luas Stent. Leichenberg now running off another screen. Loses his dribble, turns it over. No, gets it back. Gillet wide open. Can he get it? Takes a three. Still can't sink it. Well, that's a wide open look, but Gillet's got to knock that one down. He's got to give Fulua Stent a little bit of hope. Well, Langston Hull now step back. Takes another three point. The three is up. The three is good. Well, excuse me, Jamal Smith. It. Well, pardon the interruption. Jamal Smith from downtown. Well, Langston Hall hit the previous three pointer. And now they give Batshik Kolegi an eight point lead here in the early stages of the first quarter. Well, Patanovic goes pick and pop there. And here for Lua Stent still searching for answers. And now Batshik Kolegi can try to push this one. Smith now down the middle. Another kick out. Three. Corner up. In and out. Can't get it. Good ball movement though. From Batshi Kolegi. And now for Lewis Stent. Again, still trying to find that identity. Go for another quick three-point. But this time they get it. And they get a good look there from Alex Barcelo. Hey, 
Well, quick foul in the lane now, tries to go with the Eurostep. Well, so far, so good here for the home team. I mean, they've really got the crowd in this one, but for Lua Stend, the nerves are really settling in. I mean, it's very uncanny of their offense at the moment, not being very patient, rushing a lot of shots, but again, they gotta have a bit more confidence. They gotta believe in themselves. Remember, they came here in game one and won on the road emphatically. The nerves, the expectations got to them in game two at their home place. So they've gotta find a way together here to defeat Batshik Alegi. Well, for the home team, Again, moving the ball very well, getting those open looks and just punishing our stand on every possession. And there's the penetration now. Another kick out. Barcelos made one three, takes another one again. He's now heating it up. And this is much better here for Falua Stent. We're cutting it down to a five-point ball game, just over three and a half to go. Nice and Hall gives up to Smith. Smith with another penetration. Goes with a teardrop. Well, turns the AC on. It's a little bit cold in this arena. And now for Luasnan can now try to cut it down again here. Trailing by five potential. Two possession game. Tyree now has a switch on defense. Going to go down low now. By shot kicking this one out. Blainberg under 10 on the shot clock. Step back now. Deep three puts it up and in and out. Almost got it. Well, this guy can it. Heat it up. Well, now Lakes to the hole here. The left wide open again. An offensive foul. They're going to call a legal screen against Jari Buziele. Well, Buziele, all he had to do was stand still there because Lakes and Hall had plenty of time. But well, I don't know on that one, you know, because to me it looks like Alex Barcelo is kind of dragging Buziele down with him. But. Well, Mohamed Bayol will go to the bench and the former Tofash Bursa player, Yit Arslan, checking into the game here for Maciej Koleji. Tyree now looking to get things going. Trying to bump it, trying to step through. Suffocated defense, but they're going to call a foul against Langston Hall. But again, you can see Tyree saying to his players, look, you got to move. I mean, there's no movement. Everybody, look, Bleichenberg, along with Thurman, everybody just standing still, waiting for Tyree to make things happen. Well, for Lua Stan need to realize if they want to come out with a victory and get to the round of 16, if they want to win, they got to do it together. Again, they must trust each other. When you got so many players standing on offense, Watching whoever has the ball in his hands, that's not going to get you anywhere. Well, the man who played his university basketball at Ole Miss, leaving in 2020. Now, he started his pro career in the NBA G League with the Raptors 905. And 
originally from New Jersey on the East Coast, the United States of America. You know, wonderful experience for his pro career here. First European competition, the basketball champs league with a very good team for Lua Sten. Osla now pump faking, looking to kick this one out. Well, there you go. Butsiawa, good night. One-handed throw down. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur Butsiawa. Oh, that is no regard for Falua Sten's feelings. And that's just a one-handed jam. Well, Falua Sten now. Barcelo, the ball in his hands, kicking this one out. Again, we're under 10 the shot clock. Another pick and roll. Well, he's got to turn it over. Good defense by Jamar Smith, but... Again, it's just sloppy offense here from Falua Stan, indecisive. We well, tried to go for the crossover, but there you can see Jamar Smith knew he was going to do that. The anticipation leading to the steal on defense. Well, Smith using the bull screen from Jamar Smith. A pick and pop now. Oslin wide open. Doesn't get it. Well, by shot doesn't take care of the rebound. And again, they punish for Lua Stent. Well, Berkai Chandan just going in for these second chance points. Eight point lead here to the home team. Batch to Believing in themselves. Well, Thurman for the three in the corner. Three is up, and the three is beautifully tucked away. Well, Treshawn Thurman. Was the top scorer for these two in the last time they met? Or when they won, exact, exactly another three from downtown again. Well, way off the mark, but they're going to call another foul. That's going to be the fourth team foul against Falua Stent. It's going to be against Sedavas Baishat. So, fresh 14 on the shot clock here. For Batshe Kolegi. And for Lua said, no more fouls to give. Any more fouls, and they will put Batshe into the penalty. Hole now, trying to get things going on the offense. Find Jamar Smith. Smith going for a third three pointer. Yes, he does. Oh, Jamar Smith is just cooking it right now, feeling the confidence from downtown. Giving Bashi Kaleji another eight point lead. Well, Kai Vander versus the Vree check in to give him another turnover. Now, what do we have here? Smith transition goes up and he lays that one up. Ten point lead to Bashi Kaleji. And for Lua Stan, there you can see Dario Judge just infuriated his team's inability to take care of the basketball. Well, that's another turnover. They keep this one alive, but you know, for Lua Stan is just forcing everything there. I mean, Kai Vandevers the very needs to really take care of the basketball as he is the floor general at the moment. Because you know that Langston Hall is just anticipating that they're going to go for that pass on the pick and roll, but they've got to take care of the basketball. Well, Langston Hall does leave the game as he picks up a second personal foul, and that's going to be a little bit of a worry for Batshe College. Jamal Smith at the moment, 11 points here in the game. Three three-pointers. Now you saw the layup in transition. We we'll go back here to Thurman in the corner. Thurman down the middle trying to pump. Pump fix. Goes in a little teardrop. Doesn't get it. Can't get his own rebounds. Well, now they can get the last shot here of the first quarter. Batshe Kolegi putting the ball in the hands of Yit Arslan. Oh, Arslan now, crossover, hesitation, goes all the way, turns around, jumper, can he get it? That's his great defense. Well, at the end of the first quarter, the home side, Bachelet College, they lead this one by 10 points. Well, we'll show you some stats and some of the key highlights here from the first quarter. But at the moment, for Luas it's been the turnovers that are really hurting them at the moment. Well, they are three for seven from downtown. And only one for nine from inside the rainbow. Match to Kalegi, four three-pointers, but five field goals from an inside three-point line. But let's take a look at the highlights now from the first quarter.
This is a key place to me, Jari Boutsiel. That is Bonduise, they would say in France. Good night. I think right now the thing here for Falua Stenz, they've got to try and calm themselves down. I think there's a little bit of anxiety, a lot of nervousness in their play at the moment. Well, they got to keep things under control. This is trying to execute a good offense and trying to go for a high percentage look. Is now kind of and diverse the free. Well, Thurman going for another three pointer. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound. And now back to Kolej, you can try to push this one. But you're now running off a double screen, finding Buziele. Thought about taking the pick and pop jump shot, doesn't go for it. We'll give it a go now. Austin goes in, can he get the M1? No, he can't, but he will go to the free throw line. For two shots, a beautiful give and go. One, two punch between Yeet Arslan. And Jari Buziele. Wassam well, with the pump fake. Buziele with a dish. That's like Stockton Carmelone back in the Utah Jazz days. Wassam, well, as we mentioned, from Osman Yazi, Turkey, 26 years of age. Started his pro career in 2014 with Tofash Bursa. Spent a good time with Galatasaray, but then went back to Tofash last season. And now he's ended up here with the defending champions of the FIBA Euro Cup. Now have a 12-point lead here against Falua Stan. Game three of the Basel Champs League play-ins. Well, left wide open now. Takes a wide open three in and out. Still can't get it. Well, that's a good look by Simon Baisa, but they've got to make these. Also now kicking this one out here. James Gissley into the game now. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be a kickball. No, excuse me, kickball. Not out of bounds. It will be possession on the baseline. Two batches of Kolegi. Well, trying to get something going now. Finding Jari Buziele. Back to Mohamed Bayul. Batch of Kolegi now. Again, patiently trying to build up. Trying to get it down low here. Buziele, double team coming. Goes to Tampa, jump shot. That's simply automatic from Monsieur Buziele, s'il vous plaît. Well, he's going to become a problem here tonight. We know how dominant he can be as a post player. If he starts hitting those mid range jump shots, it's going to be a long night here for Falua Stent. Trailing by 14 points. Beautiful pass now. Five shots going to go up. There was a foul there. It's on. But that's much better there because you can see. When Kai Van Der Verst, comes off the pick and roll, more aggressive, and there's more space to make that pass. But Servas by shot, he's got to dunk that. You got to throw it down. You got to get the am one. You got to put Jari Buziele on a poster. But no, not bad though because Buziele picks up a second personal foul. As Slovenian international Jaka Blazic checks into the game here for Bacic Kolegi. Gets the second free throw to drop, cutting it down to a 13 point ball game. Bacic Kolegi now trying to put more momentum here, build the momentum, put more pressure against Balu Ostend. But Ostend that needs to get some stops on defense. Bill now running off a pick and roll here with Buziele now. Kick this one to Blazic. Blazic, well, where was the help side defense? There was a runway for Airlines Blazic. Well, nothing was in the way there. I think the last time Jakob Blazic had that wide open of a layup was in the warm-up in the two-line layups. Well, Dario Judge is going to be infuriated with his team's defense. Let's listen to what he has to say to his players. One team foul, eh? Zero we have, eh? One we have. 
Leia, Badai, Stan, go back at least something that he shoots. The ball, we know where he about it. We are in every screen, guys. Ah, uh, listen. We need to find balance between shot and attack of the catch, and then finding again weak side. We are all open, hey. We need to trust in that. Well, look at this from Buziele. Mid-range turnaround. This is how you know he's becoming an elite professional basketball player. Not just about the force back down. But look at this from Jakob Blazic. I mean, it's almost like you could sneeze on him and he'd miss a layup. There was no effort whatsoever there from the Falu Stand help side. I gotta tell you, for a game three at the moment, you can tell here, Falu Stand in dire need of searching for some identity. Some confidence, something just to lift them. Kai Van Der the free now, guided by Mohamed Bayul. Trying to run up another ball screen. Finds the big man, this is much better. Furman taking one dribble, but he should have made the extra pass to Bicer. Well, nobody looks like they want to shoot it here for Falu Asten. And that's just been the story of the first half. Fifteen point deficit now. That's Shikoleji. Lost here in game one against Falu Asten. We got an offensive foul now. If that's on Buziele, that's going to be his third personal. Well, that's going to be a problem here for Coach Ernak. Look at the replay now. Watch Buziele. Well, I don't know, you know, I don't think that is against Buziele. Well, it's on Gist there, so it's not too much of a problem there, but Buziele doesn't want to pick up a third here. As we're not even near the second half at the moment. Well, Van der Verste kicking this one out, finding Bicer. Bicer going all the way, trying to go over Buziele. Good defense. But this is where Bashir Kolegi, they need to capitalize, they need to punish. And there's a foul they committed by Kai Van der Verste against Jakob Lazic. Well, there's a the penetration. Bayo going in. Maybe one extra pass was needed, but they go for a three. Three is up. Amanda versus the doing a good job of securing the rebound. Now, can they get something in transition? We get a wide open look. The three is up. The three is good. Much needed three points. Knocked down by Tr Tyree. Cumbria and Tyree needs to have that confidence. Both teams with four three point field goals. But then again, it's a silly foul they picked up. You know, I, I got to give credit there to Yeet Arslan because as soon as he catches it, they think he's going for the dribble handoff, but he changes direction. And again, as much as cri as critical as I can be there against Simon Baisa, that's a smart play by Yeet Arslan. But he'll now kick it out. Arslan wide open. Can he get it? No, he cannot. Another offensive rebound. But Tyree now just takes it away from him. My candy from a baby. But again, over dribbles it. Arslan now goes out of bounds, but it's going to be back to Kolegi Ball. Well, baseline possession, getting this one into Gist. Bayul now trying to run off that screen of Britanovic. Another foul there, and this is a problem here. Last team foul for Falua Stand. I mean, you like how methodically here, Batshi Kolegi, doesn't matter whether it's Yeet Arslan, whether it's Mohamed Bayul, Jakob Lazic, they will just suffocate you to death and run off these ball screens. But now, Pierre-Antoine Gillet coming into the game here for, I think he's coming in for Kai Vandervers de Vries, I believe. 
No, he's still in the game, so maybe he'd come in for Simon Baisa, I believe, maybe. Rubio now running off the ball screen, looking to kick this one out. Run to 10 on the shot clock. Batshi Kolegi leading by 12. Chile now trying to stand strong. And there's a pump fake. Good defense. Bayo can't get it. And finally, they're able to secure the rebounds. Chile by 12 points. Chile now had the three point goes into the layup. And again, kiss that one off the backboard. Much better by the Belgian Lion. Had some good games for the Lions this summer at the FIBA Eurobasket. And now, Coach er Erhan Ernak will call timeout here for Batshi Kolegi. They lead this one by 10 points. Let's go and listen to what he has to say. They try to get on the fast break. The transition defense from Bashi Kolegi was good, but they got a wide open look. But again, Pierre Antoine Gillet struggling from the perimeter. But that time, the closeout had the advantage against James Gist. He was probably the most experienced player here in this game, Pierre Antoine Gillet, 31 years of age, spending the majority of his career with Fulu Ostend. But as I mentioned, he's the only player to play in the Basel Champions League final when he played for Lenovo Tenerife in 2019. Jaka Blazic, again, teammates with the great Luka Doncic when he plays for Slovenia. Well, the home crowd trying to get into this one now, trying to give their team a little bit of inspiration. Ten-point lead here to the hosts. And there's a kick out, finds Blazic. The three is up. The three's no good. Again, Thurman over dribbling and again, it's careless. Very lucky. I mean, there's no need to put the ball on the floor. Secure the rebound. Get it to your point guard. Well, actually, in his defense, he did kind of fumble it, but again, he's just got to be a little bit more clear. That I means one of the toughest players, Treshawn Thurman, one of the best scorers you'll find here in the Champions League. Well, Thurman, there's a three pointer. Doesn't get it. Chile going in for the offensive rebound. And that's what they need there. Second chances. Batshi Kolegi at the moment allowing Fulu Asten to build some confidence. Thurman out goes baseline. Double team comes. Nine burst of re. Pump fake. Step back three. Takes it. Got it. End of the shot clock. And now all of a sudden, the Kings from the Flounders of Belgium. Fulu Asten believing in themselves. Cutting it down to a seven point ball game. Kolegi now trying to get their way back in this one. Blazic, good pass to James Guest, but does he fumble it? The foul has been called. And that's going to be two free throws. I think that's a little bit tough there because, you know, Guess fumbles the pass. That's a hell of a pass there by Blazic. Look at the dime there. But watch Guess, it just. Right? That's a tough one because he just throws his arms up there. But, you know, in his defense, he has possession of the ball. And that's what goes in his favor. But. Young players watching, you know, it's those kind of plays at the professional level when you make it to this stage. You got to play with intelligence. Still an eight-point ball game now. Blyhenberg being heavily guided by Jakob Blazic. Dealing with the full-court pressure. Well, Blyhenberg looking like a Belgian Tony Kukoc there, the way he was taking care of the, the rock with the ball in his hands. Van 
burst of re now. Five of the clock to find Thurman. Quick turnaround, quick shot, doesn't get it. Well, it's a good look there to seal off, but somebody's got to go in for an offensive rebound. But again, when you've got Jari Buzzielli in the game, he becomes the insurance policy here for Batshe Kolegi. Smith using the ball screen now, trying to go down the middle. Six in the shot clock here for Batshe. Langston Hall now double crossover. That's a silly foul by Thurman to pick up because two seconds on the shot clock and now they're going to send Langston Hall to the free throw line. Oh, that's very careless there. I mean, he's got to be clever. Langston Hall now making it back to a 10-point ball game. Five frame for the free throw line here for Bastian Kolegi. For Lua Stent, only two, two trips so far. Again, you kind of think the team that gets a charity stripe here, the most could be the team that comes out with a big victory, the ultimate victory here. It's how we going all the way now, the follow-up. I think they're going to call the foul there. So it's no, no basket, I believe. But Tyree will go to the free throw line for two shots. I believe the foul is going to be against Langston Hall. But this is better for Tyree. I mean, look, attacking the basket, it's just putting Batshe Kolegi under pressure. Langston Hall picks up his third personal. That could be a big, big blow here for Batshe. The former Raptors 905 player. Tonight is tonight, a big defining moment in his career. Along with Blattenberg, Pierre Antoine Gillet, and Thurman, can they lead Ostende to the round of 16 of the Basketball Champions League? They trouble here points. Batshu Kolegi, defending champions. I mean, what a story it would be in this club's history. Six years they've been in existence, but imagine if they were to win the FIBA Europe Cup and then the Basel Champions League at the moment. Jamar Smith, well, Coach Erhan Ernak was wide open, and no doubt he could probably make that shot, but he's not registered on the court at the moment. So that's a turnover to Batshikoleji. Got to take care of the basketball. Vandervoort, the three made his last three, takes a Hail Mary three-pointer. Well, well, let's guess who his idol is. No doubt he's a Stephen Curry fan. I mean, that is from no man's land. Well, cuts down to a five-point ball game. Mohamed Biel now crossing over against Blyhenberg. Using the pick and roll. They will take a three. Gets blocked. Good rejection. Friends, Blyhenberg just got a touch to it. Well, it's a potential two-possession game here for Ostenda. Blyhenberg takes it downtown. Doesn't get it. And then you can see Judge are just infuriated that they went for a quick look. Well, Blazic wide open in the corner, goes to the three-pointer, three is up. And as they would say in Slovenia, Havala, thank you very much, Jaka Blazic. Well, you might as well say Lakunac, good night in Slovenia. Back to an eight-point ball game. Thurman now heavily got it, draws another foul. That's the last team foul. Full batch of collegiates against Mohamed Bayou. Well, it's a mismatch because Bayou cannot guard Thurman. I mean, he's got no choice but to foul him. Well, Bayou picking up his first personal foul as Yit Arslan comes back into the game here for Fulua Sten. Ten on the shot clock here for Falua Stenda. Kai Vandervoort to Vree. Now got it by Buziele. He's got to get something going. Chile, quick cash and shoot the three is up. No good. Well, they're getting some good looks and they're not too far away, but they just got to knock him down. But Batshe Kolegi now, Chata really pushed the momentum forward. They go down low here to Jari Buziele. 
We'll run to 10 now. Buzzelli down the middle. Kicks out by Jamal Smith, who steps out of bounds. A careless turnover. Well, Falua standing trying to be very compact on the defense. They know when Buzzelli's got the ball in the low block, they have to anticipate a double team. But it's a good closeout by Tyree. They're forcing Jamal Smith to commit a turnover. Well, we're under a minute and a half to go over in the first quarter. Remember, this is game three of the play-ins. The winner of this game will go to the round of 16. Kai Van der the three now. Cross court finds Tyree. Tyree heavily guided by Jamal Smith. Well, you got to get something going now. Blyhenberg down the middle goes up. Gets rejected. Well, Buziele said, not in my house. Well, that shit college, you can capitalize. Potential two for one here for the hosts. If they can get a basket here and get a stop down the other end. Well, Asla now. And there's a foul. Simple fact, for Lua stand, they cannot guard Jacques Boutsiele. And he'll go to the free throw line, trying to make this a double digit lead. As we mentioned, we talked about his career starting as a youth player for Nanterre. He you know, really made a name for himself when he played for Limoges, in my mind. Limoges being one of the top teams in the Pro A in the LNB in France. Or oh, miss a second free throw. Avoids the opportunity to make it a 10 point ball game. Well, for Lewis, then they cut it down to five points, but it's about the right shot selection for them. Renz Leidenberg now. Oh, he got to go to Thurman. He's got a mismatch. There's another double team. Kicks out the Kai Vandervers to the three. Made two threes. Make it three. Well, he's heating it up at the moment. Well, Chef Kai is cooking for Falua Stend. Six point ball game now. Yeet Arslan finding Jamar Smith. Smith crosses over. Big three. Takes it. Doesn't get it. Comes up with it. Forces it up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half, that shit collection the host. They lead this one by six points against Blue Ostenda. Game three of the basketball champs he plays. Remember, the winner of this game will go to the round of 16. The question is, will it be the host? Or will it be the visitors? Well, for Lua Stender, 7 to 16 for the perimeter. Three of those coming from Kai Van der Verst of Reed. Bashi Kaleji. They cooled down a little bit here in the second quarter. But 6 for 10 for the free throw line and 50% for within inside the rainbows. Well, the host, no surprise, dominated the rebounds. 23 to 16. Both teams with eight assists. Well, the host with one more still for that matter. Let's take a look at the top scorers in this game. Jamal Smith at 11. Well, Kai Van der Verst of leading with nine points. Three of those coming all from downtown. But that old Tyree falling up. Take a look at the highlights. Go get someone to eat. Go get someone to drink. But don't go anywhere too long. We'll leave you with the highlights and we'll be back for the second half. Game three of the Basel Champs League play-ins for Lua Stend in town or against Batshe Kolegi. <laughs>
failed by one. Pauli has got to score. Brady rejection. Brady by Carries. He left Ecuador for dead. Pauli had a dunk. Carries, watch it. Pauli's up. I'm in, I'm in. No, you're not, baby. Brady rejection. Cherry putting him back on top. Right down the lane, and it goes up to the top. No whistle. And what a finish to the first quarter. Here it is again. Take this. He was getting ready to throw that down, and Miller was all he could do. He, he still made it difficult on him.
Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, now to the second half. At the moment, Betsy Kaleji, Temple leader, Jari Boutsiele, trying to come with the offensive rebound. Well, six point lead, excuse me, here to Betsy Kaleji. Well, that might be a moment of concern there for Falua Stand. Well, Thurman just rolled his ankle, but hopefully he's okay. There was a penetration. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Now another chance here to chip into the deficit. Remember, they are trailing by so well. Maybe lucky they're not to get away with the backcourt violation, but again, they'll go with what they got at the moment. Tari now trying to put the moves on, trying to spin around, goes up, gets rejected, bro. Says, not in my house. Well, Jari Boutsiele just said to Tari, take that one back to Belgium. Well, Boutsiele says, my maison. This is my house, baby. So that's the third personal foul against Tyree, so that can be a bit of a problem here. But he's got to be smart. He's got to make sure he doesn't commit any more fouls. Well, Langston Hall, along with Muhammad Bayol, Jamar Smith, Chandan Anja, Ributziele on the floor. And there's a kick out of Jamar Smith. They're going down low here. Mismatch. Well, that's a problem there for Fulua Stan. They cannot afford to have any mismatches against Jacques Boutsiele. Well, Boutsiele is going to be the X factor in this game. This is going to be the one thing that Dario Judge had talked at halftime with his players. Well, if you know he's the kind of player you throw the ball down, he's going to get fouled. He's got to step up and make these free throws. I mean, well, that's just the key thing here. He's got to make sure he steps up. He's got to make these free throws. Well, missed them both. Again, the pressure just slightly getting to Jacqui Boutsiele. Now trying to isolate, trying to go up against Buzzielli, kicking out. The three is good from downtown. And Vrenz Blahenberg. So that was the kick out. Much needed three point. Did a good job getting it off in time to avoid the block shot. So now it's a three point ball game. Well, Mohamed Bayou with a pump fake. Steps through, gets rejected. Well, Blahenberg. Well, they're going to go for the tie. They take the three, and again, a poor shot selection there for Tyree. I mean, granted, nobody was running with him, but... Well, he's a fantastic player. But Brian Tyree, you can understand why he went for it. Jamal Smith with the pump fake, takes the 18-foot jump shot, sinks that one. It's back to a five-point full game. But Weinberg went flying like a UFO, of course, and then... Tries to block pass, finds Thurman under the basket, simply seals off. Langston hold up, help side coming from Bayol, not enough. And Langston hold now, split the defense, and the foul is on the ground already. 13 foul here for Falua Stand. Well, number six, yeah, one number is third foul. Falua Stand, Well, Van der Verster really there picks up his third personal foul. Well, he has as many fouls as he does three pointers. Well, Mohamed Bayo now running off one screen. 
I'm looking for options now. Look at the kick this one out. We're under 10 on the shot clock here. Handling got it by Vrenz Blackenberg. He'll try to force his way, puts the moves on, doesn't get it. We've got a good shot off, but again, he's got to try to knock that one down. Vrenz Blackenberg now goes into the Euro step and the Belgian Larry Bird putting on a bit of magic here for Falua Stend. Well, that is just a BE, a beautiful Euro step. It's Jamal Smith now being heavily guided. Smith trying to put the cross on his now, trying to isolate. Takes the mid range, doesn't get it. Gets his own rebound. Goes into the circus shot, still can't get it. Well, that's a poor offense there by Batch Share. But now for Lua Stent, the chance to retake the lead here. Pick and pop. Thurman, big three, takes it, doesn't get it. Well, that was the opportunity for for Lua Stent. They find Bussiel and Sula. Bussiel goes up, the foul is on the ground. And now it's 6.31 to go here in the second quarter, the third quarter, excuse me, in the second half. That's the last team foul here for Falua Stend. Six thirty one best line goes up. Well, no foul called. But likes to hold once the M1, but he's not gonna get it. Puts Bashi Kaleji back up by three. But Nello back into the game here. Does have two three pointers in this game so far. Four for Lewis Stamina. Another turnover gets it back. Goes in. He lays that one up. Well, the whole crowd, they thought there was a foul there, but. Alex Barthelo, very lucky, I would say. Where's the kick out? There's a ball reversal. Baseline goes up. Another kick out. Good ball movement. Can they get it? Well, Blyenberg playing volleyball Champions League. Can't get it. Goes pick and pop now. They can take the lead. She lay, nails it from downtown. And for Lua Stan, all of a sudden, have a two point lead thanks to Pierre Antoine Gillet. As now Coach Erhan Ernak will call timeout and took it over with his players. They create 12 points in this region. How we stop that victory? How we stop that? Then we do it. What we do? Step up. Let's do it. After he will pass, there is one guy here. We can make Joe and get back on him. Everybody watch the party shooters. He has the ball. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Concentrate too much. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Well, Bayenberg more like the Terminator. Send back in time for the block shot. But Van der Versa with the pick and pop there with Gilet. That's why I call the Gilet shock. Shaves off the lead now. Two point lead here for Falua Stent. Pierre Antoine Gillet, as you mentioned, big time leader for the team of only six foot nine. Catch and shoot, three point shooter. Featuring for the Belgian Lions. Most of the majority of his career here with Fulu Ostend. And here we go to the pick of sequence now. Langston Hall, by Jari Boussiele. Boussiele! Well, he Good night, as they would say. That is a big time play. First to three now, final Blackenberg kicks out the Barcelo. Barcelo with a big three, doesn't get it. And now Bache Kolegi can try to retake the lead. And there's the back down now, the kick out. Otlin, big three, takes it, nails it. Ball from downtown, a big time play. 
We'll give back to Kalenja, three-point lead. Well, in France, they would say, Allez, Jarry. Here in Turkey, they say, Heidi, Jarry, Boutsiele. That is just a big-time play. And Yeet Aslan, Teshiku Edrim. Well, now they got numbers here. Smith throws it up to Aslan. Well, nobody going for an alley but they're going to slow this one down now. Three point lead here. Just over 4.15 to go in the third quarter. Bachelet and Kalenji, three point lead against for Luastead. There's a kick out. Chanda doesn't go for it. Baseline, little teardrop. Offensive rebound, but it goes out of bounds. And that is going to be possessed. Well, going to go to Fluastead. Well. From first glance, it didn't look like he came off of. Chéri Boutsiele last. It looked like he came off of. The two players trying to box him out for Fulua Stem, but you tell them to the replay. There's the little teardrop. Well, that's tough. Maybe it does touch the left arm of Butziele, but. Another pick and pop. Well defended by Langston Holt. There's a lob. Juan Gillet on the basket and an offensive foul against Pierre Antoine Gillet. We tried to seal off against Langston Holt, but he pushed him in the end. And that's good defense by Bashik Kaleji. Lights in the hole coming off a double screen. Kicking this one out now, finding Berkai Chanda, but now Smith going baseline. Smith, another kick out, good ball movement. Chanda, wide open, doesn't get it. Good ball movement, you gotta love the way Bachelor Kaleji put up every offense. And Kai Vandiversa returning it over, and Dario Judge infuriated. Well, Bachelor Kaleji, they need to keep being patient. You gotta love the way this team moves the ball and gets a wide open look. Jamal Smith out. Smith. Will tear drop and Jamar Smith, cool as you like, taking this game over. And now we got a timeout here too for Lewis and as Dario Judge wants to talk it over with his plays. Let's go and listen to what he has to say. Coming off. You're going to slip. You're going to. Well, it's been a huge change of momentum. There. That was a huge three pointer by Yeet Arslan to make a three point ball game. Remember, for Lua Stan, they took a two point lead thanks to the pick and pop of Kai Dandiversary and Pierre Antoine Chile. There you can see Jamar Smith going in the lane like a veteran pro. Now it's back to a five-point lead. This home crowd, we're not even in the fourth quarter. And it's game three of the Boston Champs League plays. Winner of this game, they'll go to the round of 16. Tyree back in along with Harris Matanovich. Gile now, another three. He'll put it up and he will sink that one, silencing this crowd from Istanbul. Defending champions of the FIBA Europe Cup, Batshik Kaleji. What a story it would be if they can get to the round of 16, get to the final four, and who knows? Maybe lift another trophy. There's a kick out. Another three. Three is up. No good. And now for Lewis Stan, they can tie the game up with a two-pointer. Take the lead with a three. Under two and a half to go. Tyree now going in. Tyree avoiding the block. Again, too much help side defense. Too much rim protection. Now watch Butziele. Well, Yita Arslan trying to orchestrate everything here, being a floor general. For Bashi Kaleji, double crossover, kick out. Butziele, can he make the three? No, he cannot. Well, he's renowned for taking pick and pop jump shots from at least 15 to 18, but 
you know, it's very seldom you'll see Jerry Boutsiele take a three-point up. Only four rebounds of difference in this game. with seven at halftime. Tyree now. Again, trying to take it in again. A bit of contact. No foul court for Tadovich. And again, you can see Jerry Boutsiele denying the access. But you're going all the way. Good defense. But it's a foul. So Bayou will go to the free throw line here for two shots. The foul is going to be against Alex Barthelo. Well, Jerry Boutier says, this is my house. You are now welcome. Rutanovic is one of the mystery Boston players. If you saw him at the Eurobasket this summer, he had one hell of a game against Spain, which was the difference for them and how they won that one, defeating Spain for the first time in 63 years in the Eurobasket. No, he has the potential to be a dominant Boston player. But it's where and when he decides that, of course. He's one hell of a player. Weinberg now kicking out to Barthelo. Finds Thurman. Weinberg down the middle, goes in, finds Botanovic on the basket one more time. Well, Butziele taking no prisoners. Well, if you think you're scoring in the paint here tonight, let me tell you something. The bouncer's name is Jerry Butziele. Butziele now gets caught a double team. Blazic, there's a kick out. Bayul wide open, three, can't get it. Well, I would say Chandan, well, nutmeg. We got a nutmeg there. I'd say Chandan, very lucky. He didn't get called for a push in the back, but three-point ball game now. Bat shit lead this one. Blindberg heavily guarded by Jamar Smith. Botanovic now looking to give this one up. Another foul is going to be called. That's only the first team foul here for Bat shit Kalenji in the third quarter. Well, that's going to be a big moment now here. Because this is a potential two for one. And Bayou, there's no need to commit that. I mean, it's not the worst foul in the world, but you got to think the last two possessions. Well, that's good. Oh, it's safe. Britanovic got to be, yep. Offensive foul. Britanovic has no arguments whatsoever, or should have no arguments. That was a careless screen. Britanovic, that's a body check. Again, he's cost his team there a chance to possibly cut into the deficit. And that's his second personal foul. Well, we got 14 seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock, so that should probably want to try and get one more buck as Blazic here, heavily guarded by Blyhenberg. Now we're on the seven on the shot clock. Jamar Smith here, guarded by Tyree. Goes to the penetration, goes in with a fanger roll. Good defense. Well, for Lua Sten, they can get the last shot here. Trailing by three. They want to dribble this one down. They don't want to let Batshu have one last opportunity. Tyree guided by. Goes for the three. Three is up. The three is good. And he ties it up at 47 apiece. Right in the face of Shahi Boutsiele. Well, Tyree, maybe now, has come ready to play. That's a big time shot. I mean, he's shooting that over. 205 centimeters. Jerry Boutier is blocking shots in the paint, but Tyree making it rain with a bit of ice water. We got a tie ball game going into the fourth quarter. That's a huge three by Tyree. And all of a sudden now setting the tone for this game, going in to the fourth quarter of this game three of the Basel Champs League play. It's cool as you like, the composure. Well, that's what I call basketball swag, but let's take a look at the stats. Only two three-pointers there in the third quarter for Bashir Kaleji. For Lua Stan, it's living and dying from downtown. 11 for 23 may be the difference that keeps him in this game. Right. 
Well, here are the highlights from the third quarter. Tyree, there's a kick out to Blydenberg. The Belgium Larry Bird. There's that kind of dish out there. There's a pop Jamar Smith. I mean, if he gets the mid-range going, that's going to be part of his game. But look at the Euro step by the Belgian Larry Bird. That's what I call a bit of Blydenberg magic. Tempo is going to be key in this one, of course. You know, coming down to the final moments of the game, and it's going to be crucial to see how these two teams end up. You look at the block shot, the Terminator. Is that pick and pop three point that gave them a two point lead? Two big three points coming from Pierre Antoine Gillet. Look at the throwdown, no regard. Well, it's just a huge dunk there, and that was a big three by Yeet Arslan. <laughs> We're going to begin the fourth quarter for Lua Sten. First possession now. Blyenberg, big three, takes it. Belgian Larry Bird has come ready to play, and it's Iceberg, Vrenz Blyenberg. Well, if he gets cooking now, could be a problem here. Bachi Kaleji, we need to be composed now. Chanda, look for a handoff. Final lengths and hold. Trying to go down the middle here. Goes in a little teardrop. Tough one, but still gets it. Well, big, big time play. That's the kind of play you need right now. Plays a step up. Well, hide the Ozdemir. Coming down a one point ball game is Tyree now. We're going to have a foul here against Mohamed Bayoun. Well, pulls up in the mid-range, takes a long 19-foot jump shot. Tyree, all of a sudden, who has struggled here this evening, has made his last two field goals. Still a three-point lead at two for Luas Stenda. You gotta imagine the anxiety, the nerves of both these two teams. There's a kick out. Well, Heidi made his last shot, gets his own rebound, goes up with it, and again, whoa! For Luas Stenda had the last donut, but nobody shouted box out. As Heidi Osdemir just greets himself to a quick, easy lead to cut down a one-point bowl game. Tyree now again mid-range again way off the mark doesn't get it. Well, big big possession now. They can retake the lead here. This game going back and forth. Blasic using the ball screen here from Javi Butzielli. Well, the Slovenian international the step back the three pointer can't get it. And for Lua Stank, come up with a loose ball. Well, you can see both teams not trying to rush anything at the moment, really trying to settle into their offense. And the mental, physical fatigue settling in. Blindberg made his last three. Belgian Larry Bird, one more time. This guy is a walking ATM machine. He has come ready to play. Well, he is lining up with back-to-back -back three pointers. And he is causing them all sorts of problems. Another turnover now. A four point lead into Falua Stand. Well, problem here for the host, they got two team fouls. They don't want to get. Falua stand into the penalty too early. They gotta make sure they come up with some stops here. Don't want to commit any unnecessary fouls. Marcelo now using the pick and roll. Bertanovic finding Tyree now. We're on 10 on the shot clock. Tyree going all the way. And again, finishes finally with a layup on Jerry Buzzielli. And attempt after attempt, Buzzielli has rejected him, denied him. 
But now Tyree is able to take it right to the rack. And we're going to have a timeout now. Hear what Coach Ernak has to say to his players. Like trap. Conceal. Fight over and stay on number five. Who is last? Come strong. Force them back pass and make good closeout. When we go there, I want to attack number 12, bring him, but hate flash double concept. Next, you run the Picaro, okay? If we bring ball free, play this side and go for it, we can attack from the It's much better play by Tyree here in the fourth quarter. You can see just icing and dicing the defense. Well, Chan down there coming up with his own rebound, but at the moment, it's the biggest lead of the game here. Four for Lua Stena, six points, but Batsha Kaleji, mentally, they must stay in this one. They gotta get something big here on offense. Langston Hall now using off a double screen. Kicks out to Jamar Smith. He's gotta make the three. Three is up, no good. The foul is gonna be called on the ground. I think it's gonna be against Harris Pratanovic, I believe. Well, Jamal Smith now running off a double screen. I think we got another foul on the ground again. This is a little bit careless here from Falu Asten, but... You know, especially when they've been trailing all game, all of a sudden they've been able to re-establish themselves and retake the lead here. It's Bratanovic again. It's back-to-back -back fouls. The Simon by shot now coming in for Bratanovic. Now back to Jari Buziale in the corner. Arslan, he's got to make it. Big three, sinks it. That's a huge three pointer by Yeet Arslan. The former Topash person play. The assist coming. The dime from Jari Buziale. That's a big shot. But again, Thurman right in the face of Chandan. Well, Heidi Ozdemir, excuse me. The Langston Hall now coming off one screen. It's back to a six-point ball game. Smith now trying to dissect the defense. Good ball move. Oslin had the shot, didn't go for it. Now they got five on the shot clock. Langston nowhere to go. He's got to shoot it. One second, fade away. Doesn't get it. And the foul is going to be called against. But well, that's going to be called against Alex Barcelo. Look at the fans right behind the basket. You've got to love that, of course. That's going to go possession back there. Renz Blydenberg just trying to put some pressure there off the ball, but wasn't able to come up with the still. So it's going to be possession with 13 on the shot clock. Two Batsha Kaleji. We well, can see it. Batsha Kaleji, they look fatigued. So James Gist now coming into the game here for Heidi Ozdemir. Well, they need to get buckets. And they need to get stops down the other end. For Lua Stend, same for them. They can force a turnover, come up with a loose ball. Jagir Buziele, well, throwing it to James Gist, but Buziele has got to shoot that. He had a lot of time and space to go to work. That's another careless turnover here for Batshashir. Maybe are they crumbling at the wrong time? Barcelo here trying to give this one a final Tyree. Six point lead at just under five and a half to go. Well, that's a last team foul. Well, no, excuse me, third team foul here for Batshashir. 
That's a smart play by Tyree. As soon as he got the first quick step against Jamar Smith, he was able to draw that contact. So Tyree coming off one screen in the lane now. Byshot's going to go up with it, finishes it, avoiding the block from Jerry Boutielle. And now it's an eight point lead for Lua Stan, believing round of 16, maybe it's five minutes away. The can that should college you do something about that. Jamal Smith now goes in with a floater. Can't get it. Gis tries to follow up, gets on rebound, pump fakes. And this time he's fouled, and this time he'll go to the free throw line. Well, James Gis not giving up on it. The foul is going to be called against Servas Baishart. Okay, he's got to step up, make these free throws. Plenty of time left in this game. No need to panic here for either team. But for Falua, said, you got to feel the pressure maybe on them. As they're going to try and hold on to his lead with everything they've got. Makes a second one. Six point ball game. Well, how you look at it, it could be a 3 or 2 possession game, but Fulua stand two fouls away from getting to the free throw line. That shit collection, they got to be smart here. Don't want to commit any unnecessary foul. They got to make sure they come up with a rebound or a loose ball. Tyrese calls problems now. Mid range takes it. Automatic, simply. Unstoppable. Well, the man who struggled all game long, all of a sudden, now he's feeling the confidence. Well, guess now, pick and pop. He'll take a three, doesn't get it. Full lost end, coming up with a big rebound. And maybe that wasn't the best shot for Batshik Kolegi. Tyree now got it by Giz. Step back three, takes it. Wow! Good night, Istanbul. Tyree with the exclamation mark. The big time three. Well, Jamal Smith, the pump fake. Well, Jerry Bucciale was wide open. They didn't get the ball to him. And there's a kick out. Smith, he's got to make this. The three's up. The three is good. Well, this game isn't over yet. Jamal Smith keeping Basha Kaleji in this. And now for us, then another chance in. Barcelo now trying to go the way. Barcelo lays it up cool as you like. But Siloff on defense. And it's back to a 10 point ball game. Well, Jerry Buzzielli was unable to come out to that one. Langston Hole now. There's a kick out, Aslan, he's got to make this. Three's up, the three is good. Well, these teams exchanging buckets right now. Three-point bull game. Well, excuse me, seven-point bull game, but a huge three-pointer. Three minutes to go. And Tyree, who's been cooking, has punished them. Goes for another three, takes it, but again, a silly foul. And he will go to the free throw line. And Jerry Bucciele, what was he thinking? Well, I don't know, you know, that's tough. There's definitely contact, but from that angle, it does look tough against Jerry Bucciele. Boy, oh, missed it. The pressure just getting to him. Tyree's got to understand. You got to step up. You got to hit these. Well, if he hit both of them, it's still a nine point ball game, but he's got to keep his composure. Makes the second one now. Eight point ball game. 2.51 to go. Two for three from the charity stripe. Nine point lead here for Falua Stent. 
250 away from the round of 16. Or can Batshe Kaleji find something deep? Can they find something to get back in this? Finds Buciela into the basket. Triple team goes up, and he is fouled. It's a tough one there because Buzzielli had to come down with it, but as soon as he came down, three for Lua Stem players, triple team, knowing how good he is. Now if he makes that M1, of course, it's just a different game. But still plenty of time left, 2.39 to go, no need to panic. Well, the referee just reminding the players to tuck in their shirts. Well, Buziele stepping up, hitting the first free throw. Well, every possession, every shot counts it for both these two teams. Abashi Kaleji, who've been leading for the majority of this game, makes them both. Seven point lead. 2.39 to go, and now I believe Dario Giorgio has cool time as he wants to talk to his players. They have the momentum, they have the lead, but they've got to hold on to it. Well, let's find out what these two coaches have to say to their players. Don't hurry nowhere. We just don't want to get trees now. Easy. If they go, listen, if they go in this main action, if it's a split here, one time, only one time, you will switch survive. Yeah. You will go under, and you stick with your man. If he goes, we try to tag here, and you go. You go with, you You switching, and we guard taking. You're going out on the guard. Hey, listen, listen. In offense, they are in the bonus also. It's a four small. This is T here. Alex. Well, that shit now going to put a bit of full court pressure against the lower stand. Well, they saw. I mean, they want to try and force them in to turn the ball over, but they cannot foul them because they will send them to the free throw line. So they must be intelligent here. They must be smart. Well, there's Dalton. There you can see the man who got injured at the beginning of the game. Hopefully he's okay. Well, a score here would make it very tough for Basha Kaleji, but they got to try and get a stop on defense. Five on the shot clock now. Here comes the ball screen. Another step back. Tyree, big three, doesn't get it. Buzzielli with a rebound. Well, big, big possession out here for Batsha Kaleji. Trying to lob. Finds Buzzielli into the basket. Buzzielli goes up, gets the M1, and he'll go to the free throw line. The foul's on Tyree. Well, if he makes his free throw, it becomes a two possession game. There's a lob. Throws it. Buzzielli. Gets the M1, Baby Shaq going to work. Too big, too strong, simply just too good. He's got to make this free throw now. Got to cut it down to a four point ball game. Missed the free throw. Well, wasted up two there for Bastian Kaleji. Two minutes to go. Five point lead to Falua Stent. Double team, they turn it over. Now they find it, goes in, gets the foul, and he will go to the free throw line. But he doesn't get the AM1. And by shot now, trying to get the referees to review this. I think he's trying to go for a coach's challenge, I believe, but. Well, there was the, they almost fumbled and turned over, but there you can see the tap. Well, it's just the slightest contact. I mean, by shot should have no, no arguments whatsoever. At that point, any contact is going to be a foul. So big free throws now from Mohamed Bayoul. Makes the first one. The former Pinar Kashiaka player. 2016-17, the 
Inaugural year of the Basel Champions League. That was where he played in Istanbul. And now he's doing it here for the defending champions of the FIBA Europe Cup. Make this, it's a one possession game potentially. Makes the free throw. 1.51 to go. Mohamed Bayoul, huge free throw. But for Lua Sten, can they hold on? They were up by as many as 11 just a minute ago. Now it's three points. Kai Van der finding Breitenberg. Bashini don't want to foul now. Luciel goes up again. No help side defense as Breitenberg. Cool as you like. Well, that's back to a five point ball game. Langston Hull now pick and pop, finding Arslan. They want to go to Buziele. Arslan now deep three, really? Are you serious? Well, that's a huge three pointer. Now it's a two point game. No need to foul here. Trying to take care of the full court pressure. Over a minute to go. Well, are you serious? Blyenberg just faked him out, but comes enough and now. Blyenberg looking to take him on. If you go against Buziele, goes up. Can he get it? The foul has been called, so Vrenz Blyenberg. Well, buziele has got to calm down. He's got to keep his cool. He's got to keep his composure. Well, I want to go back to the previous play. Blyenberg made the fake pass. And Buziele went running. Well, big free throw miss that. He's got to keep his cool hit. Remember, nobody wants to make a mistake now. Everybody's got to keep that composure. Makes a free throw, three-point ball game. Well, there's no need to really go for a three-point. I mean, you gotta go for whatever shot is the high percentage look. Langston Hall now all the way, and he's gonna lay that one, and it's still a one-possession game. Still one point. These fans still believe, oh, they're gonna turn it over. I think this may be a coach's challenge, I believe. I'm not quite sure what happened, if there was a foul or... Let's have a look at the replay. Well, Smith, yeah, they're going to call a foul. So, Pierre Antoine Gillet, that's a silly play there by Smith. I mean, you know he's trying to anticipate it still, but he's got to be intelligent. That's his only second personal, but Pierre Antoine Gillet, a very reliable free throw shooter. But can he keep his cool? Blyenberg missed one. Gillet makes the first. Oh, he missed the second one. Pressure getting to both of them. Well, Batshashir can tie the game up with a two. They can take the lead with a three. There's Mutiele. Mutiele, does he fumble it? Well, Arslan now. We're under 10 on the shot clock. Big, big possession here. Batshashir. Step back. Three. Takes it. E. Get your lad. Teshaku Ederim. Yeet Arslan. Thank you very much. Well, it's a two-pointer. Had his foot on the line. Heidi Hadi Kaze would say in Turkey. The big time shot. That is simply unbelievable. What a game it was. Batshashi were down by 11 with just under three minutes. All of a sudden, we got a tie ball game, baby. Last seven seconds. 
seconds, whatever it is. Find the open man. Oh, Superman came ready to play. That is just a huge play. The Turkish fans will say, Sendi Sevi Yurum, Yut Arslan. They love him. They absolutely love the big time player. He gives them hope. He gives them life. But the game's not over. Still possession to go here for Falua Stent. It's going to be a big, big possession out here for Falua Stent. Remember, any fouls will send any of these two teams to the free throw line. Five seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. So Falua Stent can get the last shot here if they play smart. Back to shit. They don't want to foul. Don't want to send it to the free throw line. Kai Vandiver's degree with the ball in his hands. Giving up to Tyree now. Tyree much better here in the fourth quarter. That's a switch on defense. Got it by Bootsy L.A. Tyree, hesitation. Trying to go up and it kicks out. Thurman, three, doesn't get it. But well, Bashir, they got a bit of time now. Mohamed Bayon, that's got to be a foul. Charge. Well, offensive foul. So that is going to be possession. Back to Falua Stem with 1.3 left. Well, the home crowd were hoping for a blocking foul, but that's just good defense. The officials just having a little review of this, maybe. Well, altercation. These players need to calm down now. Nobody needs to get involved with anything. What are they thinking? But good job by Wojtek Liska, the official, and Antonio Conde. Great job by our officials to get in the middle of this. That is true professionalism from the three referees. They know the game's on the line. The round of 16 is on the line. They don't want to give any technical fouls out. And again, that's how great the officials have been in this game. There's going to be a review of this. Well, here's a replay. Look. Now, that's a subjective opinion here. Block or charge? What do you think? Did Kai Van der Versen really take a block? Or did he take a charge? Does Mohamed Bayoul get the call or does Kai van der Verst the free get the block called uh, the charge that's good defense in my mind great defense I think I'd have to go with the original the only thing you could say he is moving but he has beat Mohamed Bayoun to the spot Bayou out of control not going anywhere You know, the thing is, Kai Van der Verst the feet not set. You're, I mean, I can see why you think it's a block. But Mohamed Bayo not going anywhere, out of control. So I think the block is the right call. 2.3 left for Lua Stend with the chance to make history here. The round of 16 on the line. Are we going to overtime? Are for Lua Stend going to the round of 16? Pierre Antoine Chile for no man's up. Oh, he almost got it. Well, goodness gracious. We are going to OT. Yeet Arslan, the man who gave him the opportunity. I mean, Pierre Antoine Gillet. If he had made that shot, you would have seen a bronze, silver, maybe even a gold statue outside the Flu Arslan Arena. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? That almost goes in. Look at the fans behind there. They can't believe it. 
Well, we are headed to OT. A round of 16 on the lineup. I don't know if you guys are ready. Are you guys ready for this? Well, the stats so far, 15 three-pointers, 50 for 30 for Falua Stan. That's what kept him in this game. 10 for 28 for Bashi Kaleji. Well, Bacha 16 for 34 from within inside the rainbow. 13 for 21 from downtown, but this game just living up to its expectations. Well, Langston Hall had a very, that was a big three-point. That, that three-point had cut it down to an eight-point ball game. That was Jamar Smith in the corner, but Yeet Arslan, the pick and pop, he hit some big-time three-pointers. But this was the, had his foot in the line. Now, if he was a slight step back, Maybe Bacchashir would have won this game by now. The former Topash Bursa player last season playing with Zuba, Zubchich, Paco Cruz. They made it to the round of 16. They know what it takes. Tyree now, 20 points in the game. Barcelo with seven rebounds. Oh, it's just been an unbelievable game of basketball. Well, basketball fans watching, let us know, who are you supporting? Are you supporting Bacicic Kolegi, the defending champions of the FIBA Europe Cup? Or are you supporting Falua Stand, the greatest team in the last decade from Belgian basketball. Hoping to bring home another championship in the BNXT League. Combination of both Belgium and basketball from the Netherlands. Kind of anniversary, a member of the Dutch national team. Well, the Fluor Stem players will take the court now as they get ready for this overtime play. Well, different players really have stepped up here big time for Batshe Kolegi. You know, there's a lot about Jerry Buzzielli. No doubt he was on the scout report because he averages 14 and 8. Jamal Smith being the other top scorer, but Yid Aslan, in my mind, the real hero here in the fourth quarter for Batshe. They were down by 11 points with under three minutes to go. But somehow, some way, they dug deep and they gave themselves a chance. Well, again, the players take court. I got to ask you again who are you supporting? Are you supporting Batshe Kolegi or are you supporting Falua Stand? Falua Stand every season has played in the Basel Champs League. This is season number seven. Well, Batshe Kolegi was only created back in 2017, so a club with short history, but are the defending champions of last season's FIBA Europe Cup. Well, the possession will go to... Well, it's going to go, I believe, to Bashi Kolegi for the first possession. So, Mohamed Bayoul will inbound the ball here. Kai Van der Versafri trying to put Langston Hall under pressure. Remember, Falua instead of hit 15 three-pointers in this game. But some big trebles, 11 in this game so far for Bashi Kolegi. Well, here we go, overtime. The urban legend says, first team to score an OT usually is the team that wins it, but we will find out. Buzzielli now, mismatcher against Thurman. He draws a foul, and he'll go to the free throw line. Well, you can see it's been the offensive bread and butter here for Bacci Kolej, just trying to throw the ball to Jacques Buzzielli. And that's been the problem. 
You know, Thurman's a dominant power forward, but defensively, he can match up. But when you have to guard Buzzielli in a back down post match, there's only going to be one outcome. You've either got to foul him or you've got to take your chances. But now, Buzzielli's got to step up and make the free throws. Misses the first one. Well, that's been the Achilles heel here for both these two teams. For Lua Stan, missing some big free throws. Probably would have closed the game out here. And they're now 14 for 23 from the charity stripe for Bastia College. They take a one point lead. So will the urban legend be correct? Is it the first team that scores gets a victory? Or is that a field goal? We'll find out. One point ball game. Bastia College want to get to the round at 16. Join Galatasaray as the second Turkish team. Tyree with 20 points. Tyree going up, gets rejected. Well, Buzzielli may miss the free throws, but he's not letting Tyree have anything easy under the basket. The rim protector. Langston Hall here, got it by Tyree, giving this off to Jamal Smith. Again, they want to go to Buzzielli. Seven on the shot clock here. Hall kicks out by Yule. Big three, takes it, nails it. And this place just erupts from the huge support from the Bastion College fans. That is just a big, big three-pointer. Four-point lead here. Well, for Lua Stan, need to keep their composure, need to keep their cool. Seven on the shot clock. Kai Van Der the breeze, made three threes. Can he make it four? Can't get it. The rebound by Mohamed Bayoul. Well, interesting stat here. Shari Buzzielli has seven blocks. Aslan, another three, doesn't get it. Another rebound. Buzzielli, can the insurance policy goes in for the second chance points. And now Dario Georgia has to call timeout. Shari Buzzielli is on fire here tonight. I mean, this is why he's one of the best bigs in the Boston Champions League. This man has 16 points. And let me read these stats out to you. Eight rebounds, seven blocks. Two rebounds, three blocks away from a triple-double. Seven times he blocked you in. Stem trailing by six. Remember, they had an 11-point lead with under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And they threw it away. Free throws really did cost them. Blindberg throws this one here. But look for options. Turnover. Well, he was waiting for Thurman to go to the baseline. So he kicked it out. But a static offense there from Falua Stend. Nobody helping out Pierre Antoine Gillet. Jamal Smith now coming off one screen. Find an offside, step back. Are you serious? Doesn't get it. But another offensive rebound. Well, that really would have been cut and cool from the former Tofash Bursa player. Smith now using the pick and roll. Finds Boots here. Oh, baby! E. Akshamlar, Istanbul. Good night. That is for you. Boots LA. Superman has come ready to play. Tyree steps up, big three, can't get it. With over two minutes to go here. That's where you gotta start to believe. The round of 16 may be possible. The chance to win back-to-back -back championships. The FIBA Euro Cup. Now, the Basel Champions League. It's still possible. Langston Hall kicks out. Bayul, thought about the three-pointer. He's only got five seconds left. 
He's got to get something going. Bayo comes in. Well, good defense. And the foul has been committed. So now Vrenz Blyenberg will go to the free throw line here for two shots. Well, Buzzielli taking no prisoners and says, Teshaku Ederim. Thank you very much. Round of 16, here we come. Well, there was a foul. I think they're going to review this for a potential unsportsmanlike. Like, if that happens, that's going to be two free throws to flew us in, and they'll get the ball back. This could be a huge game changer. Maybe, maybe. Well, we've got three of the best officials right now with Wojtek, Lishka, Antonio Conde. And they're going to have to make a big choice now. It's in transition. Vrenz Blyenberg, there's no attempt to play the basketball. Bayul. Again, sometimes you do see these upgraded. But will they upgrade it now? That's going to be the question. has been made so the upgrade has been made two free throws here for Vrenz Blyenberg well he's got to make these free throws cut it out of a six-point ball game and then they're gonna get the ball back at 149 to go a lifeline here for Falua Stent and the most unlikely Blyenberg's got to make it misses it the pressure just getting to him And that's tough there because that is going to kill the confidence. Makes the second one now. Seven point ball game. Very similar to the, the end of the fourth quarter. That's here with Traylon. But they found a way. For Lost, then they've got to get something good here. If they get a three pointer, you cut it down to a four point ball game essentially. But you got to work for it. You've got to orchestrate something here. But at the moment, they've got to get open. Blindbug now, 10 on the shot clock. Blindbug now takes a Hail Mary three from No Man said, Are you serious? Well, Brenz Blindbug, the Belgian Lion, who didn't feature that much too often for the Lions this summer in the FIBA Eurobasket, all of a sudden now trying to keep Falua standing in this one. Smith now going down the middle, pulls up in the mid-range, takes it, doesn't get it. And now Falu Ostend, another chance. Well, it's a two-possession game now. They've got to get something good here. Thurman now got it heavily by Lang. Jamal Smith turns around, goes up for a Hail Mary shot, doesn't get it. And goes out of bounds, but that's going to be Batshia Ball. Wasted up two there for Falu Ostend. Try to throw it off him, but there's no need to panic still. I mean, it's a four-point ball game, but they must get a stop here. A bucket for Batchishir could very well be the curtain call. The Vrenz Blyenberg three-pointer cutting it down at four points. Likes it now. Gets a switch on defense, finds Jude Aslan. Finds Jari Buzzielli. Caught the double team. He's got to shoot it. Buzzielli, turn around, fade away. Now for Luas, they got to be quick here. Tyree's going to try and go all the way. Gets fouled. Sounds like a DM one. But he'll go to the free throw line. Well, if he gets the M1, he could potentially cut it down to a one-point ball game. Jamal Smith gets called. But look how quickly slices the defense like a California sushi roll. But the good thing here for Falua Sten, make both these free throws two-point ball game. You don't need to foul down the other end. You just need to play good defense. You can get the ball back, trail it by two, and a chance to possibly win the game. But he's got to make these free throws. Makes the first one. 
A huge performance by this man here in the second half. He did struggle early on, but he has stepped up big time. Thirty-seven point two points. Seconds left. Excuse me. Two-point ball game. Batchishit. With the chance to make another curtain call. They were up by eight points. And that sportsman-like foul turned the momentum. Gate from the West End. The hope, the inspiration. Well, we got to switch everything on defense. Whoops, Yale. Alley loop. And one more time, Iak Shamlar. That man again is simply unbelievable. Vandiversary three, big three, way off the mark. Doesn't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, the defending champions of the FIBA Europe Cup may very well have just done it. Well, you gotta think here, is this gonna be upgraded? I mean, more or less, four point ball game, 5.7 left to go. Batshi with the ball in the hands. I mean, the unsports might foul. He might, might very well be upgraded. see why that wouldn't be upgraded of course I mean there was no real attempt to play the basketball well make what you think of that of course Again, I would put my dollar, that's going to be upgraded. It's just the intent of the foul as well. I mean, there's no real attempt to play the ball. It's just to literally grab on, try to commit the foul as quick as possible. It's obviously a reaction, too. I mean... Sportsmanlike has been given, and the inevitable. We'll see Batshe Kolegi close this game out. Well, to all the Batshe Kolegi fans, last season winning the FIBA Europe Cup, coming to the Basel Champions League, bit of a roller coaster for them in the group stage. But the round of 16, they will be on their way. Credit to Falua Stand making a hell of a comeback, taking an 11 point lead in the third quarter. And you know what? As great as this team is, Dario Giorgio, the head coach of the Belgian national team, two free throws missed at the end, one by Pierre-Antoine Gillet and Vrenz Bleichenberg. Really was the difference in the fourth quarter. In overtime, Fulua Sten had the chance to get back. Young sportsman-like foul by Mohamed Bayoul. Vrenz Bleichenberg, quick three-pointer off that, cutting it down to a four-point ball game. This has been one hell of a basketball Champions League matchup here in the play-ins. Game three is about to be wrapped up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here in Istanbul. But let me tell you something now. Batshe Kolegi, the defending champions of the FIBA Europe Cup, they're on their way to the round of 16. Well, the season is over for Falua Stent. But these fans, they can celebrate tonight. Coach Erhan Ernak, he can calm down now, be a little bit less stressed, but game is over. Batshe. Mission completed, round of 16, the next goal for them. What a game it was. Just to keep you updated, of course, make sure you swap over. It's a 15-point ball game with six minutes left between Pauk and Ritas Vilnius. Ritas with the 15-point lead. That's also game three. There was the alley-oop, the good night, the curtain call. Monsieur Boutsiele, merci beaucoup. 
with the big time play. Bonne nuit is in it say back in France. Allez, Jerry Boutsi Allez. And look what it means to Bashir Kolegi. They could celebrate. It's all over. 16 for 34 from the perimeter for Fulua Stan. 11 for 31. 27 in total between these two teams. Jari Boutsiele, what a game it was from that young man. You can see 48 rebounds. Boutsiele, eight rebounds, seven blocks, 20 points, and five assists. Tyree was top scorer, 22, followed up by Renz Blyenberg. Yeet Arslan, the savior in the fourth quarter. Why not Batshishir Kolegi? Why not now? Many people have doubted them, myself included. But maybe, just maybe, it's their time. Defending champions, as I said, of the FIBA Europe Cup. But look what it means to this club. A very young club. Only created in 2017. And look how they celebrate with their players and the fans. Beautiful sight. Round of 16 here for Batshe Kolegi. Led by Superman, Jari Boutsiele. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us. We'll show you some of the highlights. Game three is over here in the play-ins. Well, if you're still watching, make sure you transfer over. Watch Pauk versus Ritas Vilnius. That is also going on. Five minutes to go. Pauk trailing by 14 points in Vilnius. Well, where did it go wrong for Fulua Stent? 11 point lead, three minutes to go. That man there, Yeet Arslan. Dagger after dagger, believing, giving his team the inspiration. Big, big game it was in the end. Huge victory for that shit Kolegi. But as I said, make sure you transfer over. Watch Ritas Vilnius, a 16-point lead against Pauk Thessaloniki. That's also in the 425 to go. Game three in the play-ins. Well, Tyree just had one hell of a fourth quarter. That was a mid-range shot. That took it to a 10-point ball game. We thought that Falua Stam was going to run away with it, but in the end, just couldn't get over the final hurdle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, transfer over to the other channel where you can watch Ritas Vilnius, 16-point lead with four minutes to go against Pauk. That is also game three in the play-ins. Batshe Kolegi on their way to the round of 16. Good night, Iga Chila, from here in Istanbul.